blood vessels constitute cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system main function is to pump the blood. Pump the blood. Yeah. And blood is supplied everywhere in the body. So a big artery will become arterial. Arterial will become capillaries. Capillaries will get formed into venules. Venules will become vein. Vein will become bigger veins. Understand? Yes, sir. So blood comes from heart through artery, arterioles, capillaries. Capillaries are in the tissue. The capillaries will give oxygenated blood. After metabolism, it will take carbon dioxide blood. Then reduce through reduce, it will return back to heart. As from through a yeah, bigger vessel called V. Superior vein like one, inferior vein like one over here. Understand? Now, if there is any injury, if there is any injury, injury either it may be an external trauma, external injury, or inside the body, if there is any injury inside the body, any injury, the blood will ooze out. Blood will ooze out, leak out. Blood will leak out. If the blood is kept leaking, all the five liters of blood will leak out, and the person will collapse or die. Likewise, when there is an external trauma, broken of bones or a lacerated wound, open wound and bigger arteries are damaged, all five liters of blood will come out. So, body has a natural mechanism called as blood clotting mechanism. Blood clotting mechanism. What is going to be clotting? There is a kind of uh, fluid. When the fluid is freely flowing, when you add some kind of sand, sand more and more and sand, more sand, more flour, more flour, and more sand, and more powder, suddenly at one place it will clot. It will clot. You understand? Yes, sir. Same thing. The liquid, freely moving blood will get flat. You get clotted. You get clotted. You understand? In our body, this clotting, this bleeding, running before clotting is bleeding. Then once you stop it, it is clotting. Bleeding, clotting. Time is within the limit. Within the standard limit. If it is increasing, problem. If it is decreasing also, problem. If it is decreasing, everywhere blood occurs, collapse. If it is everywhere, weak also, we will get collapse to loss of the year. Clear? So, when you are trusty here, you people have to do an experiment to theoretically understand what is meant by bleeding time, what is meant by clotting time. Today your son has taken bleeding time. Bleeding time. time. The time after an injury, the time taken for the stoppage of bleeding. Stoppage of bleeding is called bleeding. bleeding time. It may be up to 1 to 2 minutes, maximum 3 minutes. If it goes beyond 7 minutes, say, the person is in danger at any time because the blood vessel may break and bleeding may either bleeding may occur or during operation there will be a big problem the local side that will goes out and the operation will be hindered operation will be disturbed clear now yes. so it is a pathological as well as clinically very important criteria so you wish to understand clear understand you understand so how this clotting occurs when an injury occurred, when an injury occurred, this is the blood vessel. This is the blood vessel. When an injury occurred, I am just enlarging the picture. This is the blood vessel. This is the blood vessel. Where the blood is running, where the blood is running. Now, there is an injury in the epithelial cell. The blood will be leaking away. Blood will be leaking away. How this blood bleeding is stopped? How the blood bleeding is stopped is the, the mechanism called the blood clotting mechanism. Blood clotting mechanism. There are several factors. Okay? Hemophilic factor, then Christmas factor, factor 12, factor 11, factor 10, factor 8, factor 5, factor 4, factor 5, and factor 6, then Thermoplasty, then plast, thermoplasty, then fibrotogen. These kind of substances are already available in our industry. Plus platelets, our red blood cell platelets are available. With these components, clotting mechanism occurs. I am going to tell the mechanism in short 
half two minutes, then we will, if the thing will be over, you can proceed to it. Yes, yes. yes. When injury occurs, injury occurs, there is a factor in the bloodstream called as a factor 12 is converted into factor 28. Factor 28. Understand? For that, the epithelium factor, epithelium factor will be acting as catalyst. So what is factor 12? Name is there. Okay, all the names I know, I, oh, I cannot remember now all the things. Christmas factor, hemophilic factor, like right? for every factor there is a name. Okay? Now in short in examination you can write only the code. That's enough, right? For everything name is there. But all 12 names you cannot remember in line. Okay? <coughs> then in presence of this 12, 11 will be converted into, factor 11 will be converted into 11A factor in presence of this. Where calcium is required. Blood calcium is required. Right. You understand? Yes, sir. Then, again, ninth factor, this is 11, next factor will be ninth factor, will be converted into active ninth factor. Active ninth factor. Active is A. Activated ninth factor. And then, this is catalyzed by 11A. Right? And this ninth factor again will convert the factor 8. Factor 8. There are two kinds of cardiac mechanism. One is intrinsic and one is extrinsic. External injury, internal injury. Yes. I am putting a common one. Okay? Yes. And 8 factor will be activated into 8 factor will be converted into active 8 factor. Yes. Then there is a substance number called thromboplastic. 